Welcome to the story. On the day that Larry Bird's trash talk was so humiliating, it made one of the greatest NBA players of all time retaliate and became one of the biggest NBA headlines of all time. I'm sure you've seen the footage or at least heard this story, but you've never heard it quite like this. So we went through all the NBA archives of stories, podcasts, interviews and clips to bring you this story, a place where you can hear all the stories involved on this day told by NBA legends in one video. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, please help me out by hitting that like button. Let's aim for 3,000 likes for the next video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new and you want more content just like this one. And of course, all the video footage, credits, and links are in the description box down below and also on your screen, so be sure to check them out in their entireties. I don't want to keep you guys waiting though, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. There was a preseason game, which was a classic. Those were the days. Why would they have us playing the 76ers in exhibition three times? For, for money, probably, no, right? for fighting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it to happened every tone. time. Yeah. Every time. But I remember the big fight between him and Dr. J, where yeah. Moses and was and were holding him back, yeah, and yeah. Dr. J was swinging. It was like <laughs> so uncharacteristic of Dr. J. As you guys know, Dr. J, right. I mean, he's the nicest guy in the world. Watching you guys fight was probably the most startling moment of my life. Because there was, you had a great rivalry, but it was there was a reverence with you guys, between you guys, a respect. He didn't usually trash talk to like Magic, um, Dr. J, you know, guys like that. He just, you know, he had so much respect for them. That was a career changing game, actually. It was in uh, November of 1984, and a lot of people don't remember in those days that the rivalry was Philadelphia and Boston, Julius Serving and Larry Bird. I mean, Larry and I, we, we, we had a legitimate rivalry. I was really nervous playing with Doc, <clears throat> Moses, Maurice Cheek, Andrew, Tony, Bobby Jones, and those guys. And the first three or four games were, you know, you're just trying to break a sweat and work on your stuff. And then we played the Boston Celtics. I, I heard Charles Barkley a couple of years ago. So when he first came to the league, you know, they were playing these exhibition games and guys were loosey goose and he thought that's how it was. He said, all of a sudden we played the Celtics. Walked in the locker room, I was talking to him, I goes, hey man, calm down. He said, it was a real game. Yeah. And sure enough, something happened. I think it was like preseason. And you could just, I was like, wow, this is different. The locker room was quiet. And, uh, you know, I'm the baby in the group. There's only two referees. I'm with a veteran official. The officials for tonight's ball game. Jack Madden, the veteran, is going to be one of them. That is Jack on the left, and that is Dick Pavetta on the right. And we do the first half. Bigger than that, Chief. Here's Cedric Maxwell at one forward spot. Larry Bird will be at the other. The bird, yes! Foul will go against Averoni. Now he backs off, they go to Bird, isolated with Jay, spins around him. Yes, sir! They are up by a deuce. Make it four. Aaron, uh, Auburn. Auburn. <laughs> bird on a give and go, nice from McHale. And of course, as luck would have it, Larry Bird has an unbelievable night. I always thought of myself as a very, very confident player, but Bird, I mean, had a whole nother level of confidence. You could just see like his mm -hmm. confidence, right. and, like every, he just like added to everybody else's confidence. Every shot he took, Irving is guarding him, and as every shot went in that Larry took, he went further back, and he kept on saying to Irving. Aren't you going to guard me? <laughs> Can't you do any better? Bird goes through in the baseline, gets the ball. Looking for Larry Bird, finds him, gets a step on Jay, and gets two. The triple team on Robert Parrish. Bird through the lane. Left hander is good and a foul. It was always tough, you know, playing against, playing against them because, you know, it seemed like they were next in line and they wanted to you know, force me out because I was reigning small forward in the league, uh, all pro, you know, first team, so on and so forth. So, uh, so with Larry, uh, it was evident that he could play big forward or small forward, and there was uh, no, no limit to the things that he could do on the court. He just did them at a different pace uh, than others, so he wasn't deterrent, decided to be quick, but he was really adept. Bird and McHale will go down the stretch. Larry, yes. 29. 61-52. And the start of the second half, Dennis Johnson dives for a ball and crashes into my partner and breaks his leg. Dennis takes it to the hole. Won't 
go, takes down Jack Madden, and that gets a big hand from the crowd. But Madden's hurt. Madden is hurt. When referee Jack Madden went down and out on this play, his partner Dick Bavetta tried to assure everyone that he was in complete control. Well, we stopped the game. They carry him off on a stretcher, and I do, you know, my... Uh, my plea to both coaches, I get, I get Casey Jones and I get Billy Cunningham and I said, coaches, listen, I'm by myself. I'm going to work for two men. I'm going to work as hard as one person can possibly work. Dick Pavetta is going to whistle this one alone. He goes up to talk right now to Casey Jones. I'm sure he'll be back and explain to Billy Cunningham how he's going to work this. But this is only going to be successful if I have your cooperation. Dick, you got it. No problem. Everything is fine. Well... Four technical fouls later, you know, <laughs> thanks to their cooperation, it was only four technical fouls. Cunningham starts jumping up. Look at Cunningham, he's just, he's doing laps over there, folks. Bird's 27 first half points were bad enough for Philly, but when the third period started, Bird hit five of his first six shots, and then it started to get physical. Most of the time, his trash talking, it seemed like it was for motivation. It wasn't like he was just always trash talking to yeah. everybody. It was just, it was spotty, but when he did it, it was big. I call him a complainer. <laughs> so a lot of people call him a trash talker, and whatever, and I wasn't really into trash talk. So, you know, I, I would say, there he is complaining again. Something happens in that game. He's playing well. He yeah. starts talking. I mean, he was the, the greatest soft-spoken trash talker I've ever met. You knew he started it. I was there. I saw he you started saw it. it. There's only one ref, not two. We should leave it right there. No stopping that guy and player of the Missouri Valley Conference. Bird free and a good look by Ames. Bird pulls up in three-point land. Yes! Six points for Larry Bird with 9.03 to play in the third quarter. Larry was talking trash to Dr. J, which he didn't usually do. Talk to his, you know, the stars of the game. I didn't know anyone talked trash to Dr. Yeah. J. Uh, Larry had scored like 35 on him like halfway through the third quarter and was just jogging back down the court. We go down on uh, on offense. and uh, But Larry said, I think Larry had like 35 halfway through the third quarter and said to Dr. J, you know, like, you need to retire, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're an old man. This is my league now. Man, you need to retire. And I'm on defense. I'm on him. And the call doesn't go his way. Never imagining what was about to take place. And I don't think Dr. J took that too well. And he's like the nicest guy in the world. But they got in this fight. I immediately run down court because we got the ball now. So when I run down the court, he is coming down court and he's coming right like towards me like he's pissed <laughs> finally it got too much and i look up and i see them choking each other and a melee ensues and then a fight broke out during the game between dr j and larry bird <laughs> and it let me know like that that was hatred between the Sixers and the celtics i mean it was unbelievable intensity in a preseason game and so I just kind of, I learned from my brother Joe that if you can't stop something before it starts, you kind of step back and take license plate numbers. Yeah. So I just kind of stepped back and watched what was going on. I thought he was going to hit me. I mean, I really did. And it was just like Dr. J lost his mind and like, and that's where that story had started. He started. I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> you had Moses and Barkley holding his arms. What happens is, you always just grab the guy closest to you. So I ha I happen to be standing behind Larry Bird, so I grabbed Larry Bird. And I reached out, and I just kind of tried to hold him at bay. And Dr. J just pow, 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 pow. You know, everything happened so quickly. I mean, this is all five or six seconds. Just lay him out. Doc was smooth. Can you give me the that. sound effect one more time? Hey, hey. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, it was like three jabs. Come he gave on, him a couple. A couple of jabs. Can I just tell you that watching. For the, for the team, taking one for the team. That he reaches over and now the next thing I know, he's got my neck. <laughs> and, and we're holding each other. And I don't even know what happened. All I know is, you know, I threw three jabs. And in so doing, then I informed them that Bird and Irving were gone. 
Dr. J's going. Yeah, I think Bird might be going. Yep, they're both going. They better not go at the same time, I'll tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a double technical fighting foul. The Celtics, number 33, Larry Bird. Number six, Julius Irving for Philadelphia. Both players are ejected. Got thrown out of the game. And he got thrown out of the game, and we got fined. To this day, I won't ever forgive the NBA for fining me, because they fined me because they said I was holding Larry Bird so Dr. Jacob oh, hit right. him. Oh, that's right. I get fined and suspended. I'm like, why? I was trying to break the fight up. But it looks like you're, you got Bird and you're holding him. I'm trying to. Uh, and I he's thought somebody. Punched. I thought somebody had Doc. <laughs> I didn't know Doc was punching Bird when I was holding him. I said, I tried to break up the fight. They said that I was holding Larry Bird. <laughs> I taught me a lesson. Just stand there. Don't do anything. It wasn't like I was hitting Bird. I was just trying to break the fight up. I didn't know Doc was throwing blows at him. The NBA fined me. It really made me mad. They owe me money to this day. <laughs> You want to say anything, doctor, about the situation? Uh, no, not really. Talk to you no more. And I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please help me out by hitting that like button. It really does support the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. And here are two new videos I think that you will also enjoy. So be sure to check them out. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.